Hello friends, welcome to my home. Before we get started today, I'm honored and excited to share with you four wonderful YouTubers I'm doing a collaboration with today. Rachel from Stone Cottage Home is a friend of mine and a sweet lady who has great insight into the philosophy of decorating your home. I've been a fan of Amy Fritz for quite some time. Her easy, pretty cottage style is beautiful and addictive to me. I've been following Leah Orr for a while now. I love checking in to see what's going on at the farm and what she's doing next in her beautiful home. Liz from The Quick Journey is a new watch for me. I've enjoyed getting acquainted with Liz's lovely style and sweet personality. What I appreciate about all of these ladies are their sweet spirits and the love they have for their homes. Please check out these ladies' channels and welcome if you found me through one of them. Our living rooms, family room, or whatever name you choose, is the center of our homes. Our living rooms can often be taken for granted, ignored, and neglected. On our family nights, sometimes after dinner, Poppy takes the kids outside to play for a while, or they chase Uncle Lucas into their room to play. But eventually, the evening finds us all gathered in the living room lounging, getting comfortable, laughing, sharing our week. There are warm snuggles, sweet little hugs, and it's the favorite time of my week. It's been said, when we walk into our living room, it should feel as though it's giving us a big hug. Does your living room give you a big hug, or does it cause you stress? We can create a refuge from the world in our living rooms that oozes coziness, helping us to relax and enjoy the simple things in life. As we look forward to the holiday season, autumn is a great time of year to declutter, refresh, and quiet our space. As I get busy every week with the house cleaning, cooking, and other duties, the living room gets a quick pickup, but it doesn't always get all the attention it deserves and it was time for my living room to get a little TLC. What about your living room? What about that pile that's been lying in the corner for a while? That stack of junk you've been meaning to get to but haven't? A load of clean laundry that needs folded and put in its place? What is clutter to one is not clutter to another only you can answer what clutter is to you. But we all know if our room is full of things that don't belong there and don't make us happy.
you don't have to buy all the latest trends if you don't want to. I have three quotes from the cozy minimalist. Trends come and go. Unique style trumps trends. Your room doesn't have to be cluttered to be cozy and doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful. Once you've let your space be quiet for a while, then you can start to add in the coziness. This is all part of loving our home. A throw pillow in a comfy chair with a cozy blanket. Soft lighting and fairy lights. Candles or a diffuser can create a calm, inviting space. These classic items can be collected over time. And this is our finished YouTube inspired DIY project. If you're familiar with Amy Fritz channel, then you know this piece was inspired by her antique cabinet door. We used scrapped wood we had left over from other projects. Thank you Amy for the inspiration and thank you hubby for making this for me.
Have only what you love and what creates calm to you and those who live there.